To be eligible for the Mons Star was to have been under fire, that is, within range of enemy mobile artillery, in France and Flanders between the dates August the 5th and November the 22nd, 1914. Fewer than 230,000 such stars were awarded. Before the war, my life in the army uh, was very, very enjoyable, to be quite honest. I wasn't a brave man. I proved that. I was one of the best runners in the, in the regiment. But the army had an attraction for me. We used to do these route marches, and we marched uh, four, four miles to the hour, always. We were light infantry, full pack, 200 rounds of ammunition, 20 miles. And very, very few of the fellows were, were, fell out on the way. And it proved to me, my experience in France, uh, why the authorities were so particular in physical fitness because oh, nobody could foresee what we went through. And we marched up to Lika too and we extended line on the canal. We, we, we just shot at the Germans who were coming at us in columns of lumps. Well, we eventually got onto this so-called Mons Condé Canal uh, and in extended order, and, and oh, we were three yards apart, easily. We just laid there, and the bugles were sounding, and the bands were playing, and these columns of Germans were coming up. You couldn't miss them. And this is why I think they thought they were, we had machine guns, because the British Army was absolutely spot on with the rifle. It was. I was very proud. And then, oh, I saw several chaps killed. And we fought, we, we fired and fired, and until we could, the, the barrels got so hot that you couldn't hold the rifle. And you picked the dead fellow's rifle up and used his till you got your own cooled down. And then the whistle went, retire. The date was Sunday, August the 23rd, 1914. Lance Corporal George Rippon, 2nd Battalion, King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry, had witnessed the first shots fired by the British Army in the First World War. The order to retire, which seemed on that frantic afternoon at the St. Gislaine Bridge a momentary respite, became a withdrawal and then a famous retreat 